Rajeshi, how do you properly plan and define that line, you know, between your organization's responsibilities and those of your providers? As I said earlier, as you move data, applications, containers, and workloads to the cloud to mitigate that risk of introducing vulnerabilities in your enterprise architecture. Okay, so uh, you know, Gautam, uh, we need to look at it in uh, in a in a design uh, architecture, right? So uh, we follow some fundamentals, and those fundamentals are very simple uh, to remember, also. So the first fundamental is that we ensure that the design it's it's secure by design, right? Uh, Keithy also touched upon it. Uh, you know, it's it's built in as not bolted. That's that's where you know secure by design comes in. Then when you implement, you implement to protect, right? So the the thematics there is that how do you ensure that when you're implementing during the implementation cycle, you are ensuring that everything is protected, right? And then you go into threat mitigation and threat detection and, and so on and so forth, right? Where uh, the other points that you asked on in terms of AI, ML, et cetera, et cetera, comes in where proactive, reactive, all those pointers are, are brought in, right? So if you follow the fundamentals of this three or four things that I talked about, you'd see that it, it wouldn't make a lot of difference if you're there on on-prem or on the cloud, because if you're secure by design, the architecture which is which is there and it says that hey you need to do this following things you will then ensure that whether you are on the cloud or you are on prem or you have a desktop uh, below your desk you know you will follow those those specific principles and and deploy them in the architecture that that you have right many a times what happens gotham is that if you do not have these design principles it is done out of place right and that's where there's a difference of you know implementations or process and and uh, you know Baju touched upon that it should not be process dependent right or people dependent because then you are depending on somebody to actually drive it it should be kind of a overall architecture and then driven by technology and obviously you know people and process will come in uh, to the entire picture right and and uh, that's that's where it is welcome back to you it's always the bigger picture, right? Don't yep. miss the woods for the trees. That's always a, that's a timeless message.